Hey, what's up, guys? It's Robert here with today on the video. Today we're gonna be ranking all the mainline Pokemon games. So, S plus two is the highest, F two is the lowest, and here is for the games we haven't played. That will not be many of them, but a few like the original Green. I never have been able to play that one, so that one will be over here, for example. So yeah, you know what, let's just start. So the first release was Pokemon Red and Blue. They were amazing when they came out, but I do think they haven't aged too well. But, but uh, I mean they have amazing glitches that are kind of funny. They haven't aged that well. So I kinda wanna punt them in D tier, but you know actually. Let's just make a D, a C minus D, you know? We're gonna just do this color. This color and this color. Let's do that. Like C minus. Because I think that's a good way to rank red and blue. Because they were very good at release, but they just haven't aged that well. And because why I wanted not to rank them in C is because the next game, Pokemon Yellow. Because I want to rank that one in C. It improved a lot on Pokemon Red and Blue. It still has like the aging thing that it hasn't aged the best, but overall it's a pretty fun game. And yeah, you can I enjoyed it quite a while. Next up we have gold and silver. Second generation. They improved from Pokemon Yellow a lot. But they still have some minor flaws like when your box is full you have to change boxes before you can catch a new Pokemon. I think the inventory problem has not been entirely fixed, but it's better. But Pokemon Yellow was just fun with the Pikachu following you around, so I'm actually gonna rank those games in C tier as well. The special version though, Pokemon Crystal. I don't know why, but Pokemon Crystal is just for me, it has like, it's just very, way, way, way more memories than Silver and Gold. So, it might be a bit biased, but I'm gonna put Pokemon Crystal in A tier. Because I enjoyed it a lot, and... Yeah, but you know what, I might be a bit biased, so I'm gonna go for... I think A tier is fine for it. Yeah, let's keep it in A tier. I think that's a fair way to place it. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Like, I love your dream. Generation 3 is one of my favorite generations, but I'm not going to place it at the top. Later I explain why. Even though Ruby and Sapphire were very fun games, I enjoyed them quite a lot. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in A tier as well. Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green, I'm not the biggest Generation 1 fan. But if I had to say what's the best Gen 1 experience, definitely Fire Red and Leaf Green. And mainly for that reason, you, pro you probably heard this before, I'm gonna put them in 80. 80, because if you wanna play Pokemon like Generation 1, Fire Red and Leaf Green is actually the best way to play it. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee is not. I will go come back to those games way later on the list. Overall, I say I'm not the biggest Generation 1 fan, but Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green I actually enjoy a lot. So even though I say I'm not the biggest fan of those games, yeah, they, they, they are great fun. I really would like, if you really want to get into Pokemon, they might actually be the best games to start out. So, why I put Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in Aether is because of the next game, Pokemon Emerald. 
straight into S tier. You know what, Emerald goes in S+, because it's just that good of a game. So Pokemon Emerald is the last Generation 3 game before Generation 4, and it's amazing. Like, with the Battlefront tier and everything. Pokemon Emerald... You know, I'm, I'm really not sure if I'm going to put it in the S plus or S tier. I want to say S tier because I really love the game, but... Still, nowadays if I play a Pokemon game, I wouldn't pick Emerald. I would pick another game. And because of that, I'm not going to put it in S+, plus, but in S tier. The Emerald, it has like so many upgrades over Ruby and Sapphire. Like Ruby and Sapphire had a limited Pokédex. Emerald has all Pokémons basically. I mean, of course, you have to, to transfer them from Fire Red and Leaf Green, but it still works. And yeah, Emerald is just such an amazing game. I enjoyed the Emerald a lot, and yeah, I would play this again, definitely. Emerald is just amazing. I love Pokemon Emerald. To next time, we move on to the DS error area. With Diamond then It's... I was actually thinking a lot about how to play Diamond Tempo, you know? Because, okay, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Red, after that I think Pokemon Silver, but that game, that the uh, battery is died in my card, so it couldn't save. And then I played, I think, Crystal? I want so. But after that I actually went to Diamond and Pearl. I had Pokemon Diamond. I mean, I loved those games back then, and I battled a lot of those games. But, I'm gonna put them in B tier. Yes. The main reason is because Pokemon Platinum is better in every single way. And Diamond the Pearl had some things that could have been better. They all have been fixed in Pokemon Platinum. But yeah, I can talk about Pokemon Diamond the Pearl, but we might as well talk about Pokemon Platinum. I wasn't sure to put it in S or an S plus, I thought that it was going to S plus team, no doubt about it. So, every team Pokemon Diamond and Pearl did one, Platinum did right. Don't get me wrong here though. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were good games. Pokemon Platinum is just better though. It's just a better version. Because you had a limited Pokedex of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. For example, Faulkner, the fire type Elite 4 member, had the Drift Limp and a Lopony. Yeah, fire type. I'm not sure if it was in the rematch, but I remember Faulkner having an auxiliary, although that might have been in the remix. Not sure about that one. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going over the games in a kind of fast way. Hurt Goat So Silver. Hmm. Yeah, with Goat as Silver here down here, you might think will it a will it be really low? The answer is no. It will just miss out of S tier and it goes right in here. Actually, Ruby and Sapphire, I'm gonna move to the B tier, actually. Because of Emerald being that much better. So, Hurt Goat and Soul Silver, they came after Platinum, and I picked Hurt Goat, I picked Hurt Goat up myself. I think it might be, have been a bit after it release. And with the Pokewalker and stuff, Pokewalker was really unique, and Pokemon's be able to follow you again. Last time that was possible was in Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> So that was fun. 
Um, yeah, what can I say about the game? It's basically like the Gen 2 games, but just improved graphics, improved gameplay, because the gameplay from Gen 2 and below that was still kind of limited. Although Cristo still is, still is being in A tier, because Cristo gets a pass for that, because Cristo is just... It's way better than, than Gold and Silver. I mean, if I had really to rank these, I would rank them like above Cristo. I think this might be the bad. Th I would say hit goat and so silver is the best way to play Generation 2 nowadays. For sure. Crystal is very good too, so if you play Crystal, you're not missing out much because Crystal is great. Goat and silver? Yeah, you might want to play Pokemon hit goat and so silver instead. Next, we're moving on. Okay, really fit when we get in Gen 5 music right now. To my favorite Pokemon generation, Gen 5. It's Pokemon Black and White. So, I picked these games up, I think. Yeah, on release, actually, I picked them up at release. Pokemon Black and White, and also Black and White 2. I only bought one of them, though. The fun thing is, I actually bought Pokemon White, and after that, I bought Pokemon Black 2. The reason was kind of stupid, because I like Karu, Karu, I like Zekrom. Way more than Kyurem, and I want I want to have Zekrom in both games, so I bought white one, black two. <laughs> I mean, black and white two versus black and white one. It's diff it's difficult for me to play, cause black and white one had less content. But the storyline, man, with Anne and stuff, dude, I might like the storyline more. But it's not only the storyline, it's how the games play and what is the preferred way. So Pokemon Black and White 1 going into S tier, up of Emerald. And Black and White 2 just going straight into S tier, S plus tier, up of Platinum. Okay. So, yeah, I can like, like talk time it straight about the games. I'm gonna try and not do that. So Black and White 1, um, the story was around Team Plasma and Anne, and Genesis, his plan was to release our Pokemon for humans. And basically, that Pokemons could live outside Pokeballs. Although that was a lie, and the reason he did that was because of Anne, and that was Anne's reason to be in Team Plasma. In Black and White 2, or not Anne, yeah, Genesis wanted to destroy everything, and wasn't that nice guy anymore. I can't like why we even try to kill the player straight up. Playing God Saved by Anne, so hey, he makes an appearance. Although, from what I heard, they didn't want to bring Anne back in the first place, but they did that because the, the, the community liked Anne's character a lot. And I think it's great they did. Like, I played Pokemon Black and White 2 for a very long time actually, and Pokemon Black and White 2. Even when the 3DS area came around with X and I, I was still playing Pokemon Black and White 2, because I just like those games so much more. It's crazy actually, but it's, it's just my... how I think about the games. Black and White and Black and White 2 are the best Pokemon games in my opinion. Anyways, I was gonna say I'm not gonna talk straight tenants about them, but I still have footage mentioned. There are footage of Pokemon Black and White 2 that I don't like. Fuck for things like Pokestar Studios, for example. That's the stupidest content in the game. Some people say they like it, but you're forced to do it in the storyline, you know? You have to do it. No doubt about it. You can't say no. Although it's only one film you have to do, it's yeah, just a time waste. When you play through the games multiple times, yeah, you get annoyed by that. <laughs> Anyways, the, you got to like the, the tournament at the end of the game against our gym leaders, our champions, at least from Gen 5 and below Gen 5, no Gen 6, 7, 8, of course. I don't know, maybe we'll get a remake, you never know. We just had the BDSP remake. 
Okay, so the back really is probably gonna be third or so shit, but you know what I'm saying, right? Anyways, I love everything besides Pokestar Studio is about those games, so let's move on. Pokemon X and I is next. I actually didn't pick this up on release. You might already have guessed that. And then you might think you're probably not gonna rank them high. And that's an unpopular opinion I'm gonna say now, because I'm actually gonna rank them high. Yeah, I like X and I. And I'm gonna just rank them already. I'm gonna rank them. A tier. Just above Crystal. Because they, yeah, they just age better than Crystal in my opinion, so yeah. Not really popular opinion, but I just like X9 a lot, I enjoy the game a lot. People say it's not that challenging and a lot of things that people say that made the Pokemon game too, games too easy. Came from generation 7 and 6 and onwards. Well, I just say 6 in my own language. <laughs> anyway. They have a point in that, but it didn't really bother me that much. Because you didn't have to train for a Pokemon, basically. And the challenge, yeah, if you don't have a level too much, I actually played through the games two times in a row. Two times. And both times I actually had a bit of trouble with the champion. I mean, yeah, it's at the end of the game and it is the champion, but I just liked how the game played. It just felt good. The challenge isn't that high, but A tier nevertheless. From an unpopular opinion into probably the bad drop, I'll run that fire and I'm going to put them behind Emerald. Just for the reason they have no battle for me. If it was if they had the battle for me, it would have been above Emerald, but unfortunately it never. Because that means when you go with Emerald, you have the entire battle for the Ruby. When you go with Alpha Sapphire by the Ruby. Yeah, not that much. <laughs> but still, I enjoyed the games a lot. I completed the entire Pokedex of Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby. I think it's the oldest game I own the Shiny Charm on. I might try and go to same about what X and I did with DP probably shouldn't down soon on this those systems. Yeah. I don't think that will be happening. Either way, you know, I really like Pokemon of Sapphire and Metal Ruby, but we have some cool features like with the shaken bushes you have to slowly walk into also have a shiny I did I get actually one shiny that way. I was shiny and prefer shiny shower up. But yeah, I can also get another encounter. So I got a shiny Is it a Pijana? Or is it good? I think it was a Pijana. Yeah, I think it was shiny Pijana. But uh, it was awesome to see a shiny Pokemon pop out from the shiny head because the first time I've ever had it in generation 6. And yeah, I had an excellent I am Red Shiny Corsola, I think. And I also have a Red Room Red Room Shiny Light Red. I mean, I was happy because that's a bit of Red Room, but when you shiny it for something, it's even better. The story is amazing, I really love the artwork and the artwork, the artwork, the themes are awesome. And yeah, so fun. Anyways, let's move on to the next games. And that does not I don't want to talk too much about that. Uh, people not gonna like this, but I'm putting it in F tier. Here is why. Ult later on, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon got released, and they went into the battle for Ultra Sun and Moon. You could say a bit, say the same thing about both Ruby Sapphire and Omega Ruby also found it. Uh, but I can tell. You said the same thing about Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald. And Diamond and Pearl and Flat. Yes. But I enjoyed those games. So the Moon... 
a long time about that because some time ago I would probably have done D tier or FD as well but then I thought they not that bad I actually can still quite enjoy that so I'm going to put them in B tier like me, some people have heard me hate on Pokemon to the Sun and Moon a lot and I am mostly on Gen 7 in general but that means that was because for me everything in Gen 7 wasn't good because the anime I cannot watch the Gen 7 anime. I just can't. But then again, back to games. The rest of the Ultra Moon had some cool cool things that I enjoyed like the the Uta Romo where you could get legendaries and have increased shiny chance and I'll get, get a lot of mega beasts ultra beasts. Yeah, because of that, it's actually to go to the B tier and that was a cool surfer game. With why you surf on a man tie to the next part of the game. But I kept it like much higher than I do. But it, I really dislike Island challenges. I just like to battle and not do two challenges like that. I might come back later on that and people will not like that opinion as well, but we're gonna rank the first Nintendo Switch games. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. You might have heard me saying earlier in this video. Something with the best way to play Generation 1 is Fire Red and Leaf Green. And yes it is. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the wild Pokemon battles in that game. I like Pokemon, let's go. Yeah. That wasn't a good idea. Bro, I like Eevee more than Pikachu, because you are just in Pikachu or an Eevee. So I would rank Pokemon Let's Go Eevee higher, but to like rank one of them in C and one end of them in C minus would be a bit weird because they are basically the same game. The story is alright, because it's just gen it's the same as the other Gen 1 games, but... Just because the wild Pokemon battles, I, I can't rank it higher than C tier in my opinion. I would also rank it the highest in C tier, because it was... It was just a little bit newer. So it wasn't outdated, so... Yeah, I can't say much more about it. It had just so many flaws, flaws, and for the first being the first Pokemon game on the Switch. I mean, competitive-wise, I still only heard people talking about Super Sun and Ultra Moon, and never about Let's Go, basically. So, yeah. Now we come to Sword and Shield. So I'm gonna build for you. If it wasn't for the DOCs, it would be probably around here. But because there are DOCs, I'm gonna put it in the A tier, actually. Yes. Well, actually, let's do I minus. <laughs> All right, got it. I have it in the color green now. The Pokemon were shield before the DLC. It wasn't that good. 
but I see he made the game so much fun. And yeah. Like with Dynamax Adventures, the second the first DLC wasn't that <laughs> much to my liking. But the first one was. Like nowadays I only lose the second uh, DLC place when there is like the shiny uh, Dan Hunt, like Shiny Max Raid Run. Then I just use a reset Dan right there at that place. <laughs> so that's why I use that entire temple. I don't I hunt uh, a few shiny unis before. Shiny Was my shiny Tom was there? I don't know. My shiny binary was though. But most important for me about Sword and Shield is the online connection. For me Sword and Shield was the first time I really did a lot online. I did some online battles in Alpha Sapphire Mega Ruby, but not as much as in Sword and Shield. And I battled a lot back in Diamond the Pearl. Before the, I didn't battle a lot online in those two games and I never will be able to anymore, so that's really sad. Because I really would like to do that. Anyways, but Pokemon Sword and Shield, it was just... Yeah, I want to say I'm right, but... I really enjoyed this game and had a lot of fun with them. Because you have more Pokemons than in BSP, or at least more generations. Because you don't have the entire Pokedex. It will be fixed in Scarlet and Violet though, so that's nice. Actually, let's go to the next one. Let's, shall we? Pokemon Shining Diamond and Shining Pearl. Or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Mm, yeah, they're not gonna like, rank as high as Pokemon Sword and Shield, actually. I will put them at the top of B tier. Like, B tier are still games that are really, that you still are enjoyable for me. So, it's not bad to be in B tier. But I can't rank them any higher than that. They have many of the same flaws as in Diamond and Bow, and that's the reason I can't rank them higher. I mean, you have the underground where you could get more Pokemons, but... I mean, if there was a remake of Plat, it, it probably would have been in S plus tier again. Because this was definitely a complete remake, remake of Diamond and Pearl. And that's the reason why it's in the B tier. Because it is not Pokemon Platinum. I just... I can't rank it any higher, even though I like the games, enjoyed them and did quite some shiny in them then, and a few battles, not that many. Yeah, that I can't say much about it, because I have discussed it before that Platinum is better than Diamond and Pearl, and Platinum is also better than Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny and Pearl because of that. We still have one game to rank after this though, but I can't say too much about, about Pokemon Wii Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. Yeah, they are good games, but just when you finish the games, don't expect, expect much more. You can get legendaries, you got the Reminisce Park where I have some mixed feelings about how things work, mostly with the music, and that's probably something I haven't shouldn't do, but hey. Actually, let's just move on to the last one, because this is already a 28 minute video and my hit, we probably will hit 30 minutes or I just put this in the and say bye guys, that was the video, but... <laughs> yeah, I actually don't want to talk too much about Pokemon Legends Arceus. But I'm going anyways. So, when I first had this game, I did pre-order it. And when I first played it, I enjoyed it a lot. So, when I first played it, probably be like 80, maybe even S2, but I'm always not playing it like, like my fun degraded and got less, I enjoyed the game less, and less, and less, and less, and less, and then it probably won't end up in the D tier. Yeah, it will rank up on Pokemon Sun and Moon, because I got no reason to 
play those games at all. Because Pokemon. If I really want to play Gen 7, I just pick Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon because they are just better. You could say the same thing about Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Ruby and Sapphire, but I still enjoy those games. I enjoy those games and play them. I did play Pokemon Legends Arceus, oh, don't get me wrong, but. At first, I really enjoyed the game a lot, but then. It stays the same. Nothing changes, you always have you always have no trainer battles, so you just catch Pokemon over and over and over again. Um Yeah. I can't say that much about it. I mean yeah, I haven't even talked about the plot. Like you actually you actually someone from Generation 4, like the Diamond and Pro Pro series. But if you think about it, Shiny Bow Brain Diamond were already been released. If they didn't make this game, maybe it could have been could have had a platinum remake. Although that would have been a bit too much. Because <laughs> Legend of Zelda was a new concept. I mean, I heard them even talking a bit about DOC. I haven't heard anything of that anymore after it. I mean, he had like the the story was about like uh, we like make the Pokemon calm down the Pokemon. The <laughs> Man, talking is hard. Have I said that? I probably have said that before. But you had to calm down the totem Pokemon. Hmm, totem Pokemon. Hmm. Where did I heard that before? Anyways, um. You had to calm them down and go to the next area, next area, and that was it. I mean, basically the goal, the, the goal of this game was not to become the best trainer, but to catch all Pokémons. And although that concept is fun, it doesn't do it for me. I want to battle, not to get to, to only catch them. You catch Pokémons and then you battle with them. And in that game, you catch Pokémon to catch more Pokémons. I got the entire Pokédex on that, but just purely so I could get Arceus in Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So the thing is with our games, some games I would play again, but I wouldn't play. Those games again. That's just the thing. I wouldn't play them again. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't play this game again. No matter blue, I might. So that's why. I mean, just. I actually don't know if I would play red and blue again. But I have played the game multiple times. So in the past, so. The thing is with Legends Arceus, some many people really love it and will put it in S2 and S plus T, but me and some other people I know just well about the game, it's alright, but it's not really that great. Like if you love, prefer catching over bad lane, you love this game. If you prefer and shine it, too. if you prefer bad lane over catching, you would rank this game very low. I don't even have an E to you. Anyway, I probably wouldn't have used that. <laughs> so, just imagine between those two an E to you, and the E to you is nothing. No games are in the E to you. So, yeah, that has been, that is my ranking out of Pokemon, mainline Pokemon games. So, let's go over them from top to bottom. What game? The game I never have played, or never played, is Pokemon Green, the original one. It was only released in Japan, and there were a lot of issues, issues with that game, so that might have been the problem. You can really see, this, this video is taking 34 minutes long, and I can't even talk properly anymore. F tier, Sun and Moon. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to talk about that because we already did. DT Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
C minus D, red and blue. C, D, let's go Eevee, let's go Pikachu. Pokemon yellow. Pokemon Earth Go that's so silver. Oh, did I really say that I meant Pokemon Go that's silver? Like I said, this video is taken to all. I can't talk, so I should probably talk. The B tier. Shining Diamond, Shining Pearl, Diamond and Pearl. The A tier, or oh, actually the A minus tier. Sword of Shield. A tier. Hurt Goat, so silver. X and I. Crystal, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. The S tier. Black and White one. Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon Alpha, Sapphire, Omega Ruby. And then finally dive the S plus D. Pokemon Black and White 2, and Pokemon Black. So that has been my video on ranking out the mainline Pokemon games. Um, this video has been way longer than I was hoping it would take me, but <laughs> yeah, it takes longer than I expected. Anyways, if you somehow survived until the end of the videos, if you somehow survived until the end of the video, yeah, let me know what how you would be ranking and what your Keep in mind, this is my opinion, so you probably might not agree with it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down there. I really appreciate if you do it. If you didn't enjoy this video and be like, if your tier list is trash, then then just split this video away. I mean, if you don't like my tier list, then yeah, it's my opinion. Like it and just punch another T list, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do that. There might be some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet battles be coming up when that game comes out. I don't know that for sure. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.